very informal today. Um, we're gonna do some cooperation for today, I'm just kind of trying to figure out how we can help you guys with your own specific places as far as communicating in the community. Um, is, if you guys are okay, we're just gonna sit and enjoy the smaller space. Um, Come on, don't let us we um, are so appreciative that you guys, especially you guys, have been coming to all of these sessions. It's really been a wonderful um, experience for us, and um, I'm very thankful that you guys have shown an interest in this. Um, I am going to be very confused. I haven't used an iPad to do this, but I wanted to be able to pull our profile up so we could model when we get to the right thing. Um, so, when we're going places in the community, uh, we've created this acronym called TICKET. A, remember TICK, your AAC, you need go. But, to remember to talk about going where you're going before you go. So that's a great opportunity to be able to search the device if you're going to the library. You know, look up and find where you're going to find books and title and author, where, where you're going to find those icons in the system. Um, make sure it's always available. There are going to be some locations that it may be a little harder to have the most convenient access, but there are ways, and we're going to talk about some of those, um, especially when there are weather-related activities, <laughs> the summertime coming up, that um, we can make AAC available. Um, always keep modeling, encourage the language by commenting and showing kids how to um, be able to do more than just request. And then inspire others. This is really our opportunity when we're out in the community using AAC to kind of be curious as well and show them, hey, this is a really cool thing. This is a great tool that my kid uses and maybe you encounter somebody who also is in a similar situation. Um, this is where we get to be our outside advocates. You guys are all phenomenal advocates for your, your children. Um, but now we get to let them kind of be the ambassadors of the communication world um, and continuing to inspire your own children to communicate. And by going to these fun places and activities that you guys are doing, um, you may find that language is easier for them to use because it's something that is highly motivating that you're already doing. Um, and then teaching others. <laughs> so, like we said, um, navigating, this is a good place to really look for those fringe folders. Um, a lot of the words that are location-based, um, you may find in, you know, places, obviously, but um, I know as I was looking for things to be able to show you guys, a lot of these activities are located in leisure <laughs> with some of the ones that we're going to show you. Um, Anybody right now currently feeling really good and taking AAC out when you're going out in the community? Yeah. What are some places that you guys like to go? Uh, well, we went to the zoo this week on a school field trip. Awesome. And uh, the zoo is located under the come button where the dog are. <laughs> okay. And, uh, so you uh, use a lamp. Yeah. So that's yeah. a yeah. minute. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, but he had a really good time. He, you know, the one, I was like, well, what do you want to see? He's like, there. Come right down. So you know, every time you take it out, it's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we go everywhere with it. I mean, he won't, he goes to bed with it. I mean, we don't, it, that's his voice. He doesn't, his voice doesn't leave. So, I mean, you have to be creative when you're going to the restroom where you place this so that we have access to it while we're on the potty or wherever. But, um, yeah, and I found that 99% of people want to know about it. They're interested in it. They want, they're like, tell me more, show me more. And they get excited when he communicates with them and you usually have to educate somebody you know yes he completely understands what you're saying mm -hmm. just take your time and give him time because he has to navigate through five folders to find what he wants to say yes. so you've got to be patient but otherwise most people are great about even if you're in the checkout line and you know we say thank you or you know whatever it is to the cashier the 10 people behind you usually are really good about being patient and waiting. So we try not to rush him. We try to make sure that he has every opportunity. Um, like if we're in Target, one of the things we were trying this summer um, is to get him to do more words. You know, expand that vocabulary. Don't just do one word. Tell me more. Um, and use those adjectives and those describing words. So we, we played cart games in Target waiting for the next therapy. So it was, do you want to go fast or slow in the cart? So it was fast. Heart, please, and then we 
run down the aisle in the car and have everybody stare at us. But it's really, yeah. really rewarding and motivating that you get to run down the aisle in Target and giggle and play your heart. So, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing is trying to find ways to motivate him to expand his vocabulary wherever he is because it's laborious. I mean, it's hard to remember where every icon is hidden and trying to teach him the search feature, you know, and trying to sound those words out so that I don't have to remember five folders deep where it is. Yes. Her local will tell me where it is if I can just figure out how to spell it. (laughs) That's the hard part is figuring out how to spell it. And there are ways to adjust some of the word prediction too, as he gets a little better with, you know, typing in the first couple letters. Not only does it use like the iOS keyboard word mm-hmm. prediction, but Chrome Quill, you can adjust how many words are in there as word prediction as well. Well, and it gets smarter because it remembers yes. what he has searched. So if it's a repeating word, like planet right now, because he wants to see the planets at night on his projector, planets five or six folders deep, and it's easier to search it. But the minute he types the P now, that planet icon will pop up because Perlico already knows, yes. I've, I've typed this before, you're probably trying for this. Yes. So that's a fantastic feature because otherwise he had to type the whole word. He's like, I'm five and I'm trying to figure out how to spell planet and this is tough, so. Anybody else want to share with me? No? I mean, a lot of this kind of already went through on that first slide. Um, So one of the things that I did want to point out here, you know, a lot of what we've talked about has been using the high-tech dynamic display devices. Um, But because of just the nature of some outings, and again, really referencing the water, which we'll talk about more, it's good to have some fringe boards available um, because it may not always be the safest, the best idea. I'm thinking my daughter, I, my phone starts going off. My daughter's at Bush Gardens with her bachelor uncle right now. So, <laughs> a little nerve wracking. Um, but maybe taking your AAC, your high tech AAC, like when you're waiting in line, going on a roller coaster, you might want a low tech something that you can put in your pocket. So, teaching your kids before you go, or even just on a regular basis that you have different ways of communicating are gonna be really beneficial. Because you don't want the first time you go out somewhere to be the first time that they've seen, you know, a fringe board with, you know, all the things related to roller coasters and things like that, or um, pages. And a really easy way on most of these devices is if you can pull up and there's already an existing kind of fringe page, just take a screenshot of it and upload it to your Google Drive or email it and print it out, and then you have easy access to those um, fringe vocabulary. Can we do that at home? Are we able? Because most of the stuff is locked and we can't yes. access so the internet. As long as, well, I was going to say, internet should be open because that's how it's backing up. But. Um, We'll need to coordinate with Kirsten to okay. make sure that we've got all the editing, like that we have a, a more formal process now for getting those editing rights back. Um, so families can perfect do all that. So we'll I've just been screenshotting it with my phone, yes. taking pictures yes. and yes. doing it that way. But then the symbols are fuzzy. They're mm-hmm. not as clear. They're not as clear. Absolutely. Um, and as we've been doing this and you know just through the year i'm working on making a folder of just the generic fringe and stuff like that so um we will have be able to have access to that um hopefully by the end of the year all right um, <laughs> um continue modeling you guys i i think are all fantastic about understanding what modeling is and how to do it um Again, thinking about what you want to say, you know, imagine some scenarios of things that you know you're going to the zoo. So, kind of thinking, all right, what are some things or ways that I can comment about the bear? Do I know where colors are? Do I know where the sizes are? Um, do I know where to be able to find all the things that I may need to access um, for that particular location? Uh, encouraging language. Just a little bit of that thought, you know, 
like in books, community locations are such great places to really move beyond those requests. There's not, there are always going to be things that you can request or say, I want this or things, but this is our opportunity to really have so much to talk about um, and make sure that we can show them all those different functions of communication. And then here are just a little bit more on that inspiring and not requiring. And then um, So this, this last one, having that play to communicate with others, um, all of the devices should have a button in the About Me section that says, I use Mr. Um, communicate, or however your family wants to be able to indicate that. Um, and I think it's a really important time, especially to start pulling your child in for that self advocacy piece. We want, one of the AAC skills is to be able to let others know, this is how I communicate, please be patient with me, or, you know, don't interrupt me. <laughs> um, all of those things that we would want somebody to do for us. Um, and I personally don't feel like it's ever too early to start that. Mm -hmm. um, they need to, to know that they are in charge of their communication. Do you have a text point? So you can hit it, it's under, some people have it under chat, mm -hmm. and then if you go to the About Me page. My point just say what to communicate. Okay, so it's a very straightforward way of just letting people know how your child will communicate. So, yeah, that's a great page. Yes, yeah, it's, it's all your <laughs> 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 That's perfect. <laughs> yes. Um, I think the most exciting part of being able to get these devices out in the community. And I always tell them, oh, yes, we really only have our iPads. We have gone through, um, I think at this point we're up to about 62 device requests just this school year for iPads for our students here in the county, which is at least twice as many as we've had in years past. So these devices are out in the community now. So this is our opportunity to advocate for communication for everybody. And the more visible they become, the more normalized they become. And I think that is so important just for that inclusion and that acceptance piece. Um, the other benefit is how awesome would it be if we're always taking our iPads to the library and the librarians now also know how to use AAC or we start, you know, really sparking that interest and they're like, hey, maybe we do want to have a playground board, you know, just like all the schools do, but maybe now we want to put them in all of our county parks or we want to have a four board station here in the library. So this really opens up a lot of opportunities, opportunities for us to be those agents of change. Any questions about those things? Comments? It's exhausting. It is. It really is. Um, Maybe there's not going to be so long. Okay. That, that I think your students didn't know anything like that. Like they're super excited. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm going to be having a discussion with them and I'm showing off and yeah. not using, you know, he's not trying to pull mm -hmm. a lot of thumb. Yeah. But, I mean, they're really excited because there are a lot of adults that can use that. And so they are trying to use us as advocates for you know, special interest communities. Yes. Yeah, they're only signing on that and say it's not you. They're yes. only signing the forms. Yes. Well, and then again, you know, you can give us this contact. See, we have all those resources <laughs> and yeah. all those things. We're to the county. Your school at you know, your school SLP. We're we're getting everybody involved in trainings and things like that. So if you need those supports for organizations, churches, things that you guys are um, parts of, you know, let us know how we can be supports. We may not ourselves be able to support, but we may know of another agency or an organization that can help 
civil rights as well. And we want to be advocates for change and looking that this is a community that needs to support our kids mm -hmm. and adults too. I mean, they really need to have a voice. And I mean, this is something I know both of us feel very passionately yeah. about. And we definitely we can put you in touch with people that can really help you. Well, I think that's what's so beautiful right now. I mean, 20 years ago, there wasn't as much interest. It was not as accepted. And you would approach somebody with that idea and they'd be like, oh, no, we've got more to deal with right now. We're worried about this stuff. And there's so many more people interested now, which is beautiful that there are so many more people willing to see that there is a need and that we can't just stick with those simple boards any longer because so many more people understand that there's so much more going in on inside the head than people used to credit their kiddos with. They used to just be, well, okay, well, they probably don't understand it anyway, and we'll just let them point and it's fine and no big deal and move on. Whereas there's so many more people willing to understand that it, it's just a matter of mechanically moving my mouth. That's what the problem is. It's not that I, I can't communicate with you. And that's what I've enjoyed seeing over the last couple of years is the shift, at least in the community, of the people that are interested and willing to, to learn more. So, and my husband and I have had this discussion many times. That our son, 30 years ago, wouldn't be alive now because of all the medical interventions you have to have. Right. So we're having a massive shift culturally anyway because of having so many people in the community that need extra accommodations and need mm -hmm. extra help. Because when I was a kid, there were maybe five or six people mm -hmm. in our school, mm -hmm. and now there's three or four whole classes mm -hmm. of children that need extra extra help and extra attention. And so I think the more people that are, you know, thankfully living <laughs> and thriving, we need we are trying to are, almost feels like we're kind of scrambling in a way as a as a community as a whole um, to try to make sure everyone's included but at least the awareness is there that we need to do it oh. so we are now having the opportunity to do it so right. i think it's fantastic well i'm adding something to your all's to-do list for the fall for, <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys for uh, aac for community providers you know yes. let's yes. investigate yeah. and yes. hand over community and invite you know our preschool team Hanover preschool just mm -hmm. did um, a workshop for community um, child care centers mm -hmm. um, for their directors and assistant directors on ways to you know support students in community child care centers with visual support and behaviorally so we can reduce the number of um, referrals to Hanover Preschool. Um, so this would be something maybe we could investigate doing fall and spring of next year for you know librarians, mm -hmm. police officers, Fire department, like all kinds of. I mean, even medical professionals. Right. Yes. Exactly. Yes. We, we took yeah. them to the mm -hmm. emergency room for his first seizure, and the nurses were just like, "We can absolutely tell whether he's cognitively aware with this. This is amazing." Like mm -hmm. most of them had never seen a device nor a child utilizing one. Yes. So even those mm -hmm. service providers that have mm -hmm. never. And so we're taking that to the next level too. It's like even for adults that have had strokes in the past right. mm -hmm. or TBIs, uh, traumatic brain injuries, they definitely need a way to communicate and to see this in action. Definitely, yeah. Like the think a lot of it was like, providers. how do we know whether he's at baseline or not? And I was like, yeah. ask him a question, a basic question. What's his name? If he can't respond, he's not at baseline, right? Mm -hmm. Because he can normally do that. And they're like, this is fantastic. What is it? How do we use it? I was like. We'll talk about that after we're sure he's okay, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they were interested, so that's awesome. Um, if you guys would do a favor, when you're filling out the um, evaluation, evaluation, mm -hmm. which I do have, um, if you can think of some agencies or some organizations, groups of people that you feel like here in Hanover County would benefit from some instruction like this, CSD, like yeah. people that you guys yeah. are working with on a regular basis, let us know because then, as you know, as we're planning, we can reach out to them and say, Hey, we have heard some feedback from parents that they would like for you guys to have these this knowledge or this skill to be able to support them better. Um, and I think that would be valuable for all of us because we do we want this to be a team um, effort to support your kids. 
And while even some of them have seen communication devices before, many of them have not experienced the complexity that yes. Pro has, yes. so that they can see how much can be communicated. I mean, they're used to maybe a go talk or something very simple. Yes. And they're like, wait a minute, whoa, we can do what with this? And I'm like, absolutely. Even um, your pediatricians. I, yeah. I've yes. had a couple um, younger preschool parents be like, oh, we, we took it, and they had no idea that my two year old could use an, an iPad. They yes. thought that was unheard of and unbelievable. They were excited, but they had no idea. So, um, you know, kind of think outside the box on that, but let us know because we're going to do it and support. So what we would like to go through now is talk a little bit about how you, you can support your child in the community. And we're going to step through a few locations um, and just sort of give some suggestions. And you guys have already given some really good suggestions already um, for going to Target. Uh, but this will be even starts at home before you go to the grocery store. Um, how do your child help you prepare a list of maybe things that they want to find? Um, and you can be like very serious with this as far as like what they want and what you're out of, but you can also throw something on there like maybe spinach and see what they do and do the negating of like, oh, stop, not like that, or something like that to encourage the language. Um, but this is a great time to also get into the descriptive qualities. The grocery store is has so many different things that you can talk about as you're going along. Um, and even if you're thinking like the, going by the fruit and describing, you are looking at the groups together. So that helps them navigate just that food page in general because all of I mean, grocery stores are navigated in categories. Mm -hmm. So is for local. So this is a great time to help them sort of look at how the device itself is organized and to help them sort of plan along with that. Um, I thought that was a really clever way of attaching. I was going to say, how did they attach that? I, my guess is there it is a stand or some sort of hook on the back, but um, I probably could get this through. Yeah, <laughs> you can and then absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just hope that I just have these on like it's so big. I don't know what it's like. It's a random Yeah, yeah. Yes. no, and, and absolutely. And if you guys, you know, I love the conversations that we're having, you know, if there's something that you have found success with, share it out because everybody can benefit from those types of things. My favorite things are the sippy cup tethers. Um, I, I tether everything. Mm -hmm. There's sippy cup tethers to like uh, strollers or high chairs or something. We tether a sippy cup, we tether stuffies, we tether this, we tether, that way if it falls, it doesn't hit the grass. Mm -hmm. Um, Even a carabiner or something yep, yeah, attached to your cart, then it can be on the outside um, of the cart so that it's kind of at their level um, to be able to support that kind of thing. Yeah, we just have to cut the door, so I can't yes. yeah, yeah, just I'm done talking or I'm done with my cup. Well, I'll use it. Disney is fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't hit that here. <laughs> no, 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 That's graduate level work. <laughs> So this is just a couple of, or a few suggestions as far as like when you go to the grocery store, um, definitely bring an AAC device. This is a great time, again, to talk as far as when you're going on a grocery store run. And just as I said, create that shopping list of ingredients for maybe their lunch or dinner. If they plan out like a specific meal that they really like and you know they like it, then you can help as far as like labeling and describing the ingredients as you get them and maybe even making a choice as for which one that they want if there is like two different types. Okay, that's even a good point as you're getting older, you're incorporating the mass bills. You know, here we've got two cans of juice, which one costs more? You know, is that a good buy? I mean, you can incorporate so many life skills into this. So as your kids are, you know, becoming rock stars at labeling and identifying things, step up. You know, work on that change piece. And I especially love the taking a recipe and being able to read the recipe, get the ingredients down. Um, you could even create that running list in Proloquo because mm -hmm. once you have, um, 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 so you know if you know that you need to get broccoli, carrots, Carrot. beans, beans. Spinach. spinach for what you're making, uh, this would not be happening at my house. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but I feel like Karen being Spanish. So what happens once I hit that message bar up at the top, when I go to the search or and then hit or not search, but the recents, it's gonna show up here. So when you get to the store, you can go ahead and you don't even have to pull it back up, but you can be like, look, here's our list. We're getting broccoli, carrots, beans, and spinach. Um, so consider that as another option there as well. I also use it to see what he's talked about during the day at school. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. and no. Yes. You know, so I will be very, that is an excellent idea. And I, I do the same. Just a word of warning, a lot of kids, especially with the way that their devices are set up, um, they don't always hit the message yeah, window to speak. Know. So know that yeah. it is a great idea of what is has been said, but remember that it is only what has been activated, that it's, it's not necessarily a true indication of what they have communicated the entire day. No, um, but then you can use it to play off of that and be like, because if he said he asked to play with a specific child, mm -hmm. I can go back and then ask yeah. him questions about, oh, what did you and Haven do on the playground? That Fully is, knowing that he asked her to play on yes, the playground that and is be able to, to, yes. to pop off of it. I do love that idea. Um, well, going back to that list too, um, if you have like an itemized list that you have and you've got pictures, I know my kids absolutely love to check the items off as you're going along. And again, that gives that connection to that word, to the picture, meaning, and again, helps them as far as probably reading. Um, and then talking about likes and dislikes. And you can point to things in the grocery store and they can talk all about as far as requesting, describing those items, and I mean, just really to get there, engage their interest mm -hmm. overall. It's a huge way to promote that image. And the other thing too is you can again teach some of the self advocacy. If there are specific foods or food items that they cannot eat, if there's an allergen or an intolerance, that's a really great way to start teaching them. Oh, look, here's the milk that you cannot, it makes you sick, that kind of thing. Um, and giving them ways to know how to tell others that that's not something that they can have. Um, Another great place, as we know, is the library to go and to talk about all different subjects as far as books go. Now, this is an excellent place to start moderating as far as how loud the AAC device can get. Because <laughs> yeah. as we know, sometimes we'd like to be really loud with our AAC device and pump that volume up. Um, but this is a time where we can talk about being quiet using that soft voice and really talking about what it means as far as like changing our voice in different ways. Um, so this is a beautiful example of like browsing the books, seeing what they're interested in, and they can request books. It's like, and again, they can turn them down, and they can go to all the different play areas that they have in the library. And I have a tool. Well, I've seen um, a video where students using AAC and their communication partners actually had a scavenger hunt in the library. So kind of like an introduction to the library, but. Um, you know, they did have the librarians involved and things like no, that. So that's like one of my ideas. I'm like, maybe we just need to talk to them um, too. But one of the things that they were doing is like, find a red book, find a red CD, or you know, find whatever the colors may be. So again, it's it's encouraging the communication partner to model those longer sentences um, and just being able to do that. Um, so I did just kind of show there that if you haven't found it already, the volume choices are again under that magical four square button. <laughs> <laughs> just hit soft adjust and then automatically adjust the volumes so you don't have to worry about adjusting the volume buttons. I did the same as a result of the recents and then just wondering are there such kinds of things on there? I do believe there are. I will do some digging and find that. Um, but I'm almost positive there are. Before, yeah, before you leave, yeah, we'll pull that out. Um, this is a video, but I think that should be always the thing that's nice. Um, anyway, I think it's pretty funny. It's um, you want to talk about it? Um, our elementary schools do have a lot of hides. 
a playground communication board. And pretty much every elementary school um, in the area will have that. And that's only been probably in the last two years um, that we've, to, we've had that in place. That is an awesome time, again, for awareness for the other kids. I have had so many, I like to do um, speech outside on the playground, because once you get those kids moving, we have so much language, and they will run over and get their partner, and they will help them out as far as talking, and they love to explore the board themselves as well as help out their friends. Um, and so if you have a chance to go and just hang out the elementary playground maybe this summer, or even after school sometime, it's a great resource. And sometimes I know people are very hesitant. We've had school staff that are very hesitant about bringing devices on playgrounds. I say go for it. Bring the device. You can leave it on, say, a like safe location, or just leave it with you and let your child explore. I'm not advocating necessarily taking it down the slide. Anything like that, we know it's, we know it can be a little crazy sometimes. Um, so, but having it nearby, even if you have like a core board or something like that, is still really important to at least have access to the playground. And this is a perfect location to like get on and off the swing, push. Um, where where we go next? Um, and oh my gosh, the, get the best language out of the playground areas. And if the iPad has a strap, you can always wear it. Absolutely. I mean, you're most likely going to be within a short distance from your kiddos um, doing that. Um, Katie, in yes. your list of things to do for the yes, mom, ma'am. Um, as you were talking about not necessarily wanting to do that, we should put hooks on those outside floor boards. So these devices you can hang on them and put them outside so it's just like a special place. Um, so thank you for those floor boards. Anyway, the first time I saw it, I cried, and I had to call the main office and thank them because the first thing he did was run over to it and use it. And I was like, I didn't have to teach it. I didn't have to model it. He saw his symbols, and he went to it, and he used it. And I was like, now his friends can do it, too. And I, I lost it. But it was amazing. It's awesome. And then to get pictures from school of, like, all 15 kids crowded around the core board and working with it with him, it's just it's beautiful. That's awesome. And as a parent coming in, we came in from out of the district mm -hmm. entirely this year. And when we came in, the first time we went to the school and looked at the playground and the boards were up, I cried. Oh. Because it was finally when I saw it that he supported. Yeah. And not in like an overt kind of, you know, oh, look what we're doing. It's right. like, oh, she's like, Mommy. She's just hanging out on the playground with a slide. And it's just it's just normal and we're normalizing all that. And it's just coming from a district that did not support him at all. That was fantastic. That is not the same. Thing. <laughs> I know, I um, yeah. <laughs> And it, that's one of the things that I do love about Hanover. I think Pearson Supporter may have started it. Um, and I think PTA got it through a grant and then we were like, we need all of our schools to have these because this is what all of our kids need. Um, so, well, and even if the school doesn't have a single AAC user, it normalizes it for all the other kids yes. so that when they encounter somebody yes. with a device, they know that they're not on there playing games, mm -hmm. that they're communicating with it. And, and that's the biggest thing that, that I think is so successful about them because like, if you go to a normal community event, sometimes you have to explain my child is not playing games on this. That's not why he has it. You know, we went to the doctor's office one time and she was like, he can't have a game device. In. I'm like, it's his communication device. Mm -hmm. You can stop right now. And a lot of people automatically assume they're watching movies or they're playing and to normalize it for everybody, it's just it's beautiful. Well, and just because you aren't using AAC right now doesn't mean you're not going to need AAC in a year, in a month. And, you know, we don't know what's ever going to happen. Um, so it's nice that everybody has that exposure um, to be able to support each other. When I see the dirty looks, particularly from either older people or kids from private schools, I get a lot of dirty looks from me. Why does he get to have a device and you don't? It's, uh, I'm like, Joe, are you going to use your words? What What do you want to say right and then it, you know, I like to I, I can be very uh, passive aggressive <laughs> about <laughs> it, but while also educating. For the zoo, there was another private school, and the kids, the kids in my son's school, they, they have got four kids. Nice. This is great. 
Those kids don't care. Like they know why it's mm-hmm. out. The private school is walking by us because of where we had to sit. We just said, no. I see from that. I still Joe, do you want to tell me what kind of still. animal you want to see? And there, there was a lot of education. Do you have questions? Do you have questions? I'll answer them. I'm just excited. I know. <laughs> you guys feel like you could quit right now. <laughs> Please don't. I know, right? We need to keep growing with this. Don't stop now. Um, I would like to play this. Oh, yeah. It's super short. Sure. And it, it is super cute. And I, I, I don't know, how, do you guys have a favorite community restaurant that you know that they love you and they know you? Absolutely say, hey, you know, this is how my kid is communicating. Like, can we train your staff? Can we show them about this? Um, let me just do it here. Let's see if we have it as a new pull up on the left. Turn it around. Um, first time ordering. Well, this is just like the perfect time also to go ahead and use the device and the rest of the Oh, did we go through it yet? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can see it. And this, that smile of accomplishment is why we do what we do. Because <laughs> we also want to make any of our learners just self-advocates. They've got to go into this world and advocate for themselves. Ordering a restaurant, I think, is a great just first step to get into it. They know food. They know food. <laughs> they know what they want. <laughs> so this is the perfect time to try out things on the menu and to, again, help them navigate the device, but you can see, like, I mean, he's taking pride in doing that for himself, so it's a really cool thing just to, and again, Joe got the accomplishments that he can do as far as communicating with his muscles. And again, here, you know, they talked about, I'm allergic to, you know, that needs to be a button in their about me page if there are any allergies Mm -hmm. or sensitivities or not eating food or things like that, these need to be on those pages if they're not really so you can help you mm-hmm. uh, get them on there. But again, you know, most restaurants these days will ask if there are any allergies and that's a perfect opportunity to have them again be that self advocate. Okay. Okay. Now this is another one that is one of my very favorites. I love going on a walk with our AAC users at our school. Um, because again, there's so much to talk about. Um, and just when you're going out there, it's enjoyment. I mean, in comments, we have done like scavenger, scavenger hunts on walks before, and this is a great time to look at all of nature, tell you about how you're feeling good. Um, a stop and go type of action can also be discussed, especially for our beginning emerging communicators. Look, see that, where are we going? Um, and how long? I mean, have them have a little bit of ownership again on where should we go and to talk about the places. But it's such a fabulous time to go outside and talk about what you see and what you don't see. Um, especially if you have seasons that are changing around them and it's very obvious that they're changing. Um, this is the perfect time to go out and talk about what changes do you see. Oh, we have green leaves now. That was different. Um, and then I spy, you could do I see. Perfect, again, core vocabulary words that are very easy to talk about what you see. Um, 
And also those inexpensive magnifying glasses, kids love those. Oh, yeah. Just get down into the dirt with them and see those little insects that are down there. Um, and just think they're beautiful. Use those senses. Absolutely. <laughs> and you know, using those senses is also that great opportunity for expanding their utterance length. You know, you're adding those describing words in there and showing how those apply with the cringe words that they're learning as well. Um, great. And one of our favorites. <laughs> Summer's almost here. All right, so who regularly goes to a body of water in the summertime? <laughs> Whether it's in your backyard or in the community. I know some of you are river fans. Um, how do you guys do AAC in water? Use your old school. Old school. Okay. Oh, so. I give you both of that. Yeah. Because we, that's what we did with the uh, device. Absolutely. This blows my mind. <laughs> These oh, yes. Yes. parents. Um, it's so creative. It's so <laughs> unbelievably it. creative. It's a two liter bottle. Oh, the life and they just, it is a bottle life pad. It's a bottle life pad. That's right. Um, so, and this is really, I think they laminated the piece of paper before. But they really, um, they just used packing tape all around it and kind of sealed it. I think if you got really creative, you actually probably could roll it up really tight and get it inside. Yeah. And it even laminates the hot glue yeah, at it. the top so it can be water. And it floats. Water tight. Yeah. And this is literally in a Ziploc bag. I thought it was And taped up at the top so it is watertight and it's it's floating in just a little tiny backyard pool. Um, I love the kickboard. I think that's probably my favorite. Um, but in this little picture of the little girl in the sand, um, her mom. Added, I mean, her mom created this board, and um, she actually, you can see there are two icons. Oh, you, you can yeah. my foot. There are two icons that mom actually wrote in. She left blank spaces. And so, if you're traveling to a beach and you're staying at a different beach house all the time, or there's other things that you just don't think when you're, you've got that screenshot, and you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot to put, you know, sunscreen on there. That's one of the words. Um, she just wrote it in and then modeled it. And again, it's like, all right, look, it's time for sunscreen, and you put it on. I think wave is another one. Um, you know, zip tied onto the pool toy basket or a beach basket. Um, there's so many ways that you can bring your communication with you. Um, even having it just symbol cards on a little key ring to you know keep on your keys and things. Um, so many cool things. Personal favorite, the big giant pencil <laughs> tub. <laughs> yeah, and again, good words as well. One thing that I would recommend: try to laminate, or again, use packing tape to try to seal it up so that the colors don't run. If it happens to get wet or there's a tear or something like that, um, sometimes you can run it through once. Sometimes you have to twice if you can for safekeeping, just so that your shirt's sealed pretty much all the way around. It's a good sort of. Um, again, that waterproof board on a beach chair, you could probably even put it on the back of a beach chair and just sort of like clamp it on if you've got holes that are punched through. Um, again, wrap it around a pool noodle. Um, you can do that too. I know some kids that have, um, and actually we did this for a preschool class last night on a field trip, they had like their smack bracelets and had the icons for what they were doing. Um, for the field trip, I think I was doing a pumpkin patch. Mm -hmm. So they had pumpkin on there, hayride, oh, we're going, we're stopping, and just some core words, mm -hmm. just so that they could communicate as they were going the hayride and their AAC device, <laughs> like they're a little too bumpy to get through all of it. So, but it's just making things accessible. Um, and again, that board, I think is brilliant. Uh, and then they, sometimes you can just get a laminated board just to stick to it, just for water pressure. Um, and just suction it too. But if you want to, again, the packing tape is a beautiful thing too. And then the pretzel wheel. Absolutely love that. And you can just attach that to the inside or outside and make those into like a little bit. Any last words? I'm not sure you need to do a making tape. <laughs> yes. if, I, if I had been more on the ball, this yeah. would have been a perfect ending to the school year in AC and the water. Because where are they printing out these? So this is actually, it looks like a lamp 
or a unity symbol there. Mm -hmm. um, LAMP and Unity, their software that they use, they actually have like a whole computer program that you can use and print and do all the things. With Proloquo, again, I just use screenshots. Um, any symbol system you can use are available. Proloquo um, has um, some printables on the website. They do. And you can print like their standard home screen. Mm -hmm. There's a few things that they'll yes. let you print for free. Their color coding is different than ours, and some of the organization is different. But um, as it, it probably, since we're recording this, it'll probably take a day or two, maybe not a day or two, but less, maybe a week or two, yep. to get this all organized. What Melinda and I can do is maybe take some screenshots and maybe make some fringe water boards that we will attach as resources to the end of the slideshow, so you guys have access to that. Um, there is a there is an online it's called lesson picks and I think it's like twenty dollars a year and you can go in and there's symbols it won't be exactly the same but um, there are you can create some boards and use them that way if you wanted to that's what T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T
your little paths mm -hmm. like for, for just getting lines of rides if you can't wait in line and you know how to get how to get your ticket checked and how to walk through the gate and it will be loud there will be lots of smell mm -hmm. there'll be you know and how to how to do this and how to navigate getting to their um they have a sensory room um where you can check in for 15 minutes with somebody and they'll open it and go in and it's just you and your kid for your family and your kid and it's air conditioned they can have a quiet space but like disney has that universal Orlando has that disney has that um has that that dollywood has that um and uh my son's a roller coaster drinker <laughs> so <laughs> i mean he can't like he does not like swings he doesn't like merry-go-rounds but roller coasters are like, so that's where we spend our summer but I would not have thought that there would have been a social story about how to get through it. So and they're out there if you want to find them too. Well, and so another really good thing to keep in mind is you're reviewing websites and looking at things. If you're on your computer, you can kind of do a snip and sketch kind of piece to get pictures. But even if you're just taking pictures on your phone, you then turn, take pictures of the attractions of those things that you're not going to need to program on your device because you may or may not be back there anytime soon. But if you have a kind of a catalog of pictures, you can go through and say, all right, you know, these are our options and still give them that choice of where they want to go using a map. Um, and you know, some of them are a little more detailed these days with web pictures and things. But always, I mean, think outside of the communication device too. If you the phone, um, is a great place to have pictures to be able to scroll through, um, even if you're just you know around town. Um, yeah, Key City and Union Bay sort of have them all listed, so you can go through, and that actually would be a good thing if you go for the good stuff there. You can just scroll through and get the rides. And there are a couple of apps where you can put on your mm -hmm. phone too that let you yes. create a choice board and you yes. can upload pictures. I've done that in restaurants a few times, taken pictures of things and made a choice board. So mm -hmm. there is a, a lady that runs her son was this um, communication needs, but she makes these vision board books oh, wow. and they're like little binders and they're very expensive, but like we can make our own, um, but it's first, then next, so we're assigned to choose this, this, and this. We actually ran into them last time we went to Disney World, and I watched him using the now, then, next board. It's very clever how people, and he also had a talker, but he had this on the ride with him so that he knew he could communicate um, in a little binder. That's like kind of like that visual schedule. Mm -hmm. sure yeah. Last piece, you know, just kind of that safety piece. You know, you're going out in a group. Somebody can always be assigned the AAC monitor. Take some of that pressure off yourself. Because I know you guys are the ones championing it all the time with your siblings, cousins, aunts, and uncles. Um, and this also kind of helps build that family of community. Like, you know, you're responsible for the AAC today. Make sure it's always available. Make sure it's charged when you're traveling. Make sure you've got a cord with you. Um, helping them work through what is the best AAC for the situation. Because again, roller coasters, you're not going to be able to take your device on it. They just won't let you as far as that piece. But you know, one back in the pocket, you've got some paper cards in your pocket. You've got something available um, for that communication. Not that I'm saying that I want to do it right now, but um, the AAC device can be bulky. Yes. I know you can have ProLoquo on your phone. Yes. If we were to purchase our own ProLoquo and have it on our phone, is there a way to link it to yes. your students' current? You can system. airdrop, we can do it. Any changes made okay. on either device would have to then be resynced. Right. It doesn't automatically do it, but what it does automatically do is we have our devices set up automatically to back up into a Google box. And what we have started with families who have purchased their own copies is um, we use the student's email address as their Google um, backup. And then so the school device is always backing up into that email address so the family then has access to that student's Email. I was lamenting the idea of starting from scratch. No, no, thank so goodness so there are okay. many, many things to not have to do that. Um, and um, that's a great question, though. 
right now, I don't know if you all have heard, the Virginia Department of Education has $30 million that they are giving away in learning acceleration grants, and families can use, what just happened there? Um, families can use um, the money from the grant to purchase um, AT that is um, in their child's IP. And it's $1,500 or $3,000 depending on family income. And um, if you want to apply, you can. I can email the link because go ahead and do it because some people have already gotten money. And so I think like when the money's gone, it's gone. So the sooner you apply, the better. Well, because right now, we're fighting with Medicaid because they don't want to cover an iPad with Perlipa. And I'm like, you would rather pay $12,000 for standalone software than you would like for just buy me an iPad and Perlipa. That's what he uses. That's what he's used to. And like, too many people abuse it. We don't want to buy iPads because too many people use the iPads for things other than standalone communication. And I was like... And yet, somehow our school district has managed to make it so it's only for communication. Correct. Yes. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not asking it for games. Just for yeah. So, that being said, it is. It's like 20 million cubes to go through for wow. Medicaid yes. to approve for a little bit. Anything else they'll approve. But. Well, I don't know what hoops might be associated with this, but they did qualify that I think $750 of the $1,500 grant can go toward AT if it's in your child's IEP. That's not so. And it should be in everybody's. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would definitely seek that out. Um, there are some other companies out there who are... Um, willing to work with families that to have an iPad with whatever communication software they're currently using that are they are having success getting approved through insurance. Um, so if for whatever reason this doesn't work out and you're interested in that, as a school district we can't recommend that right. you do that. But um, I mean we're fighting we a good fight, to, but a lot of families. There are some companies that are coming out and recognizing that they can recognize the struggle in our not just is it the best program that's available right now. It gives you so many other options as far as like word prediction and typing and being able to yes. drop those sentences into his Google Drive and print them off for his writing assignments in school. And like you want him to have three million different devices. One device is good, yeah. This is just an example of the word prediction here in Prologue. The smaller are the iOS ones, but the bigger um, buttons are just strictly Prologue. And so I kind of like this too because I don't like any of the choices that um, Prologue has given me, but iOS is um, what I do. I don't know. <laughs> so I've got a lot this week. <laughs> All right, so um, again, the last slide was just kind of our, our closing, you know, where are you guys going to go communicate? Um, we're at 1132. Um, I am so thankful you guys have any questions. I feel like this has been a nice open dialogue with everybody. Um, as a whole, you have enjoyed or been able to get something from each of these uh, sessions. Do you have some these slides will be available. Yes, yes, yes. And we will make sure that um, some of those resources. Um, I already started working on them this morning. I just haven't had a chance to finalize them. <laughs> Thank you.